Oh, hi crafters, don't mind me, I was just going for a ride in my model engine. Hey, do you want to learn how to convert your model engine models and entities for Geyser MC? Here, hop aboard! So first of all, you need to be running Meg 4. If you're not hip and young like me, that means Model Engine 4. I did not know that for a really long time. There is a free version, but you are limited to 12 models. I genuinely don't care if you buy the premium version or not. It's like $40 and I don't even own it. Also in this video, I'm not going to be showing you how to set up Geyser or Model Engine. I have like 30 different videos on setting up Geyser and there are plenty of other tutorials on setting up Model Engine. I usually leave this for the end, but if you are stuck on something or you need help, then then please use the support forum in my Discord server instead of leaving a comment. It's just much easier for me to help you through Discord than through YouTube comments. And finally, this video is basically just me following through the steps on the Geyser Model Engine GitHub page. So if you want a video tutorial on this, then stick around. If you don't like me for whatever reason, then you can just follow those steps. Okay, make sure to subscribe and let's get crafting. All right, so first of all, we need to make sure that our models are working on Java before we can convert them to Bedrock. So if I just type slash MEG, and then summon and I have the LA Epic statue. So this is from my logout avatars video. So we can see this is working. And then I also have a bear, a deer, and a mammoth right here. So these are all of our models that we're going to be converting. So first things first, let's just go ahead and make sure you have the geyser optional pack. This is pretty important. So you can just get it on this GitHub page. I will have it linked in the description. So then we'll want to head over to our server, go to our file manager, go into our plugins, go to our geyser spigot folder, or if you're using Velocity or Bungie Cord, you would put it in the packs folder in there as well. And then we can just go ahead and put it in here. And now we will want to start installing all the extensions that we need. So this will also be linked in the description and you will want to go ahead and click on all of these different links right here. So we will want to, for Geyser Utils, go to the releases. And you will want to download the Geyser one and the Spigot one, or if you're using Bungie or Velocity, you would download either of those. You don't need the Spigot if you're running a Bungie cord. And then we will want to head to Geyser Model Engine, go to the releases, and you will want to download Geyser Model Engine. And then for Geyser Model Engine Pack Generator, these are two separate things, you need both of them. You'll want to head to the releases and download it. And so in our Geyser folder, you will want to go into the extensions and pay attention here because you need to make sure you do this right. So we want to put Geyser Model Engine Pack Generator into the extensions and we will also want to put Geyser Utils Geyser into here. And then in the plugins folder, we need to put the other two. So that would be Geyser Model Engine and Geyser Utils Spigot. And finally, you'll want protocol libs. So if you are running 1.21.3, you'll want to use the dev builds, but if you are running 1.8 to 1.21.1, you'll want to do the latest release. So we can just click here. I'm doing like 1.21.1, I don't even remember. And you'll just want to go into your plugins folder and drag it in there. Hopefully you already have protocol lib, but if you don't, then now you do. Okay, there we go, I have protocol lib. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start or restart my server. Three days later. Okay, here we go, our server is back up. So we can go in console and type PL and see we have Geyser Spigot, Geyser Model Engine, Geyser Utils, Model Engine, and Protocol Lib. So make sure you have all of those plugins on your server. So now what we need to do is go back into our file manager, go into our plugins folder, and we will want to look for Model Engine. And then inside of the Blueprints folder, you'll just want to go ahead and download all of these. So... So now the next step is we need to head into a block bench and you'll just want to go ahead and drag all of your different models that you want to convert into here. So I have my mammoth, bear, deer, and LA Epic statue. So what we need to do now is install a plugin for block bench, which you can find on the geyser model engine page. You'll just want to scroll down until you see install packer plugin. So it'll take us to a GitHub. You can just click right here and then click on this little download raw file thing. And now we can head into Blockbench, go into file, go into plugins, and then you'll want to find load from file. And then we can just select this one that we downloaded, click OK, and here's Geyser Model Engine Packer. So now what we need to do is with our file, you will want to export Geyser Model Engine Model so we can just put that here and then we will basically do that for all of these. 
There we go. There we go, I did all four. So now the next step is we need to head into the geyser spigot folder, go into the extensions folder, and then inside of the geyser model engine pack generator, and inside of the input folder is where you want to upload all of these. So here we go. And now I'm just going to go ahead and unarchive all four. And there we go, you don't really have to delete these, but you can. And now we just need to restart our server. Now our server has started back up, so we can head into our file manager, go into the plugins folder, and then inside of the geyser spigot folder, and inside of the extensions folder, so many folders. Then you can go inside of the geyser model engine pack generator, and then we can see that this generated underscore pack.zip has appeared. So you can convert this to an MC pack, put in your packs folder, but geyser model engine pack generator will actually apply it automatically. So you don't even have to worry about that. So that's really convenient. And now we can just go ahead and join on Minecraft Bedrock. And here we go. Now it'll ask us to download resource packs. Make sure you obviously download the resource packs. I shouldn't even have to say that. All right. So now once we join our server, we can see that the models are working. Here we have our deer. And over here is our mammoth. Another deer. And here is our grizzly bear. And then finally, there was the logout avatars one. And there we go. That is working as well. So make sure you are running the latest version of Geyser. That's pretty important as well. And also if like you have issues with textures, then let's see, we can go into the Geyser Spigot and to the extensions and into here and here. And then like for one of these, you can go into the config.json and you can like change the material to one of several different materials and just test and see which works best. Well, thank you for watching until the end. You are now an absolute gaming legend. Like I said earlier, if you still need support with something, then make sure to join my Discord server. There's also a Discord server for Geyser Model Engine, which I would recommend joining. And there is the Geyser Discord, which is pretty much useless. It's just people spamming exclamation mark, exclamation mark custom, which is absolutely no help at all. Anyways, on that note, make sure to join both of my Minecraft servers and steal your parents' credit cards and give me all their money. But until next time, I will see you on the other side and happy crafting. Choo choo!